Hey, how's it going guys? And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the integration of Cold War and Warzone in today's episode. So, real quick, how many people have actually enjoyed Warzone since this whole Call of Duty Black Ops has been introduced? I definitely have not. Ever since the DMR and the MAC-10 have been introduced, even though they both have had nerfs and stuff, and I've given myself plenty of time to play this game, I can honestly say with confidence I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Even now, like, I now do sort of somewhat play Cold War now with a bunch of my friends, especially the Zombies mode, which is really, really fun. But in saying that, I'd have to also t t put this as a counter-argument. I'm not too sure how I feel about Warzone at the minute. I really do feel like Warzone has kind of been left in the dust now in the sense that ever since the Cold War has been added in to be played, obviously, on Warzone, the game is just suffering big time from what it it was beforehand in the sense of you know certain guns are better than others like blatantly way better than other guns gear wielded pistols are now top tier level clutch and it's crazy i mean the last few games that i've had of this game is just ridiculous and i just wanted like to make a quick video just to see how everybody else felt about it i mean the integration for myself i mean it's one of those situations if you can't beat them join them right i mean that's how it normally works but how can you do that when everybody else runs the exact same class and you're in exact same sets and and on the contrary, you're having people that have obviously have the gun, you know, maximum level, and you're maybe level 1, 2, 5, 15, hell, even like level 36. And it's just really hard to compete in the sense of like, you know, you have these people blasting at you non stop. How, at like, I don't understand where this integration, like, messed up so badly. I personally think that Warzone would have been better if they'd have slowly drip feed you know, like drip feeded guns from Cold War into Warzone, like a slow introduction. So instead of like a gun a week or something, you know, two guns, you know, every couple of weeks, I think mean, that would be much better. So then you wouldn't have this massive bleed of, you know, two guns that are blatantly really good that everybody's talking about so far, which is again, the MAC-10 and the DMR. I find it very, very interesting. I don't know why they didn't slowly just drip feed these weapons into into Warzone instead of just doing what they've done now where it just complicates things to such a degree where it makes it really hard but that's my take on it I mean it's just like I said a short little video just to get other people's ideas but I don't think I've ever seen Warzone this sweaty before to this degree might I add to use such such regards for weapons but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section there'll be more videos coming soon and hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode if you did give a like rain and we'll see you guys in the next episode peace out bros peace out